Okay, y'all, so I muted it for this portion of the video just because the shower gets really loud. So I'm just putting all of my hanging plants from the loft and the bedroom into the shower. So that's Big Boy. I know I told y'all I couldn't remember if I had named him. I looked at my app and I remembered his name is Big Boy. So that's Lola. She's up next to go in the shower. So beautiful. Very long neck. She's getting really, really long. Gigi tried to get in the shower, too. She has a death wish today. I don't know what is going on with her, but she tried to escape. She tried to get in between the slats of the gate, the baby gate, while I was opening it. So she was basically in the hinge. And then, obviously, she wanted to get in the shower while I was watering plants. So I turn it on, just like lukewarm water. You don't want it too cold to freeze the roots. You don't want it too hot to burn the roots, but they do like the warm water, like medium warm, just to increase that humidity too. I have a couple of leaves on my silver sword philodendron up in the corner, the top right corner, that are about to open. And my philodendron squamiferum loves the humidity all the time and it's nice to get those moss folds wet too so that that way the aerial roots can really try to um, get into the, the moss fold. Excuse me. So basically I just shower them off for a few minutes and I try to move the head of the shower all around so that the soil and the moss pole and everything gets wet in each one. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a couple of things because some accidents happened this morning. So this is just a watermelon peperomia leaf that I'm propagating, but I accidentally sprayed it with water that was diluted alcohol because of my mealybugs on another plant, and I forgot that I had alcohol in that. So I am going to change the soil. It is rooted, so that's why I'm trying to get it out of this. Not too many roots, but... I didn't want it to be soaked in alcohol, so. <clears throat> okay, so you can see how minimal the root system is, but I just wanted to get it out of that. This is just a random leaf that I found at like Lowe's on the floor and I cut it in half, but that's why it looks so janky, but it's trying. Oops. So I'm just going to put it in this because it does need to stay moist and this wick will help with that and I can just um, put it in a little dish of water. So for my potting mix, I use a little bit of regular potting soil, extra perlite, orchid bark, um, earthworm castings, Sometimes I put vermiculite in there if I can find it at the store. I haven't been able to find it recently. Um, let's see. I think that's it, but I try to just make it, like, really airy because most of my uh, plants like to be in soil that is a little chunkier and airier for their roots to... Um, have oxygen when they're growing. So that's why I do it like that. And it works well for my cacti, for my succulents, for my aeroids, you know, my philodendrons, all of it. There's a bug in this. Okay, maybe we should do the monkey tail cactus too since um, we're potting stuff. I know, you're about done with your breakfast. Yeah, okay, let me just plant this um, cutting and then I'll get you right out of your seat, okay? You gonna watch mama? You don't like it? Well, it'll be quick because I don't have to do anything. All right. 
So I just fill it up, grab my cutting. This is the same one with the end. Uh oh, Marley just dumped all of her food out and I'm just gonna put it right there and kind of compress it down. <laughs> it looks funny like that, doesn't it? And that's it. Eventually it'll start growing. It'll probably put out an offshoot like off of the sides because of the way that it was cut at the top. But I'll pot it up. Woo. Okay, so I actually meant to do this one too. I feel like the roots are probably as pliable as they're gonna get, I guess. Like this main one, the, the biggest ones are not very bendy. And I think it'll be okay because they're bendy enough that I can set it in here. So I'll just put it back in this water for now. And I could probably like even trim the roots if I wanted. But, ooh, you know what I'm going to do? I have a perfect idea. Rooting hormone is outside, so I'm just gonna go grab that. Okay, turns out it was just right here. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this little dish, terracotta dishes. I mean, they come in handy, man. I'm just going to put a little bit of this rooting hormone on here because I don't really like to dip the roots into the container just in case there's anything on there that is not good for my other plants. Bacteria, fungi, they can get spread between your cutting utensils, between stuff like that. So, every time... I also clean my um, my blade off, whatever the blade may be. Um, lately I've been using these scissors because I haven't been able to find my shears and I just looked at my shears and I kind of just like want to soak them in alcohol because they look gross. Even though it's probably just a stain or something, but I'm just going to use the scissors again because I just used them a few minutes ago to um, cut a piece of a prickly pear, variegated prickly pear cutting that kind of, it wasn't like rotting, it was like drying out really. So I'm just gonna trim the bottoms off. That way it does give it like a little bit more room. And then I'm just gonna dip the ends and even like the sides of the roots in the rooting hormone. Just remember that agave can be a little prickly. Some people even wear gloves while they do their gardening. Um, I have gardening gloves, I just like to live on the wild side. I'm just kidding. Um, it's, not that. it's just that I was a little lazy and didn't um, grab them. I don't even know where they are now that I think about it. Probably in this box of stuff behind me. We keep some of our stuff outside in a tote so that that way it doesn't get wet, but we have more than enough stuff that... Can you please stop doing that, Marley? Please don't do that. She is a completely different... Uh, I should say, like, worn child than Kai. Oh my gosh. He was so calm and loved to be wrapped and just, I don't know. Maybe it's because I started wrapping him later, like I wore him before, but I didn't start wrapping him like in woven wraps until he was probably 
around 18 months. And Mars just turned one. And I've been wrapping her since I, uh, since I had her. She was in the, in, even in the hospital, she was in a wrap. So, I think she's trying to tell you her side of the, um, the experience. Um, but, yeah, she is just a wild child. Like, she, um, likes to bounce and seat pop and lean and do all the things that Kai did not do. So this piece of acrylic board, actually, I even have it like divided. It's actually gonna go underneath my plants on the front porch, uh, that table. I just have to get the right kind of knife to cut this because I didn't get the right kind. And you know what? I might even be able to use these, but I won't do that on camera because it will take me a minute. But 